CataractCoach.com. Great Yamane cases always do this. So scleral fixation of your lens requires one critically important step. Our guest here in this case is Dr. Rishi Gupta from Canada, fantastic vitreal surgeon. And he wrote an amazing book about ophthalmology with basically 10 years of great pearls and wisdom all in one book. I'll link it down here in the description. You definitely got to check it out. Here's the thing that he does that's so critically important. Now look carefully. This lens is coming up and being explanted. The haptic is broken. And so this patient already had one attempt at a Yamani procedure. And you can see there's a bit of a, a haptic that's kind of stuck there at the right side of your screen. You can see that haptic is stuck in the interscleros pocket. And he's trying to really free it up and get it going. And now he's going to have to try a different technique maybe going with some forceps to get a better grip and really get that pulled through. And the trick for a great Yamane procedure is a complete pars plane of vitrectomy. That's it. Look at the three ports that are on the eye, the pars plane of ports. That's the secret to the procedure. Here's why. Watch what happens. Put in the lens in the eye. Where's the optic? Now, where's that leading haptic? Way in the mid vitreous. It is deep. Where's the leading haptic? Think about it. Where's the optic? Way into the mid vitreous. That lens is coming halfway back at a minimum. So now he's going to get this Yamane done very appropriately. There's no vitreous left in the eye. There's no entanglement of vitreous. He did a full and complete parge plana vitrectomy because he's a retina specialist. And pulling that haptic out now, that looks great. And he'll use that low temp cotter to create a little flange there and do the same on the other side. So a beautiful technique. He saved this case and gave the patient a nice outcome and also switching to an, a more appropriate lens. This is that lens, the Zeiss CT Lucia that has the haptics that are more amenable to this procedure. And make sure you get those flanges deep in that intrascleral pocket and that looks like a great case. So let's show you another video. Here we go. Next video now, we have Dr. Pablo Adamic from Argentina and also you can see this patient's gonna get that same type of procedure done. A fake patient, a little bit of cautery is being done here, and this patient's going to get a Yamane scleral fixation of the eye well. Importantly, marking here very carefully so that you have the lens centered. So using that Mendez gauge and making marks on the cornea so you really have a beautifully centered lens. Otherwise, if you're off by a little bit, the lens will be decentered. So there are some markers you can buy that'll help you do this as well. And he's making little pockets here. And what else are we doing here? Pars plane of vitrectomy. You're right. Come on. I think that your best option for these patients where you have to do these Yamane type procedures or even other types is really to do a complete and thorough pars plane of vitrectomy. And that's because when you put that lens in the eye, as you're manipulating it and getting it through these two scleral tunnels here, that lens ends up going into the mid vitreous. And if you have a lot of vitreous in there, you're going to get vitreous entangled within that. And that's going to pose an issue here. So he's just checking the fit of that haptic, which looks good. So now delivering it in the eye nice and slowly. And, you know, there have been studies that show that patients who had cataract surgery by an anterior segment surgery and, and a surgeon and then needed a Yamane, if you only did a partial anterior vitrectomy before doing the Yamane technique, the patients more frequently had macular edema and traction on the vitreous. And that's because you entangle that haptic and optic within the vitreous. So I really do encourage you, if you're really going to do a lot of these procedures, you need to be able to do a nice, thorough pars plane of vitrectomy to avoid that issue. And that's often done here in the U.S. by a vitro-retinal surgeon. There are some anterior segment surgeons, like, you know, notably Steve Saffron in New Jersey, fantastic surgeon. He tends to do these uh, parts of plane of vitrectomies on his own, and he has beautiful outcomes. But it depends on the surgeon, it depends on the technique, and depends what your comfort level is. For me here in Los Angeles, I have taught residents how to do these procedures. We do it frequently, often with a retina fellow, but now in my private practice, for most of these cases, I'd rather refer the patient to a vitro-retinal surgeon and that patient can have the full pars plane of vitrectomy and the IOL fixation done 
and then I can clean up any residual refractive error with LASIK or PRK afterwards. Because as you know, the IOL calculations in these Yamani procedures are a little bit less accurate, just because you can't always predict exactly what's the effect of lens position. And now look, getting that second haptic in, where's the optic? Deep in the mid-vitreous. Look at that, that optic is deep in the mid-vitreous. And so you really have to admit to yourself that yeah, these patients would be better served with a complete full pars plane of vitrectomy. And that's what's happening here. Plus, the other advantage is that infusion, the pars plane infusion line is so helpful to keep the eye inflated during all these procedures. If you don't have that pars plane infusion line, much more difficult. So you can see here now, both flanges have been created that can be tucked in. Make sure you push that flange deep into that scleral little pocket or tunnel. You don't want that flange to just sit under the conjunctiva. So I like this technique of using one arm of the tying force up to really push that in there and wedge it in. That's a nice technique. That looks beautiful. This patient is going to have a fantastic outcome. So beautiful surgery for both these doctors who are, yes, vitreoretinal surgeons who are featuring the videos on cataractcoach.com.